Welcome back to part two of this amazing story called The Casting of Frank Stone. Right now, we play in the chapter three, and we play as some teenage gang who is trying to make their own movie, and it all ended up with us breaking the camera for some reason, so now we're trying to find a place who can help us repair the camera, and apparently this might be the place. A really weird store that seemed shut down, and we just met a weird lady. She looks pretty suspicious, if you ask me. I, I don't know if we can trust her, but hopefully she can help us. But first, we're going to explore this area. And something that I haven't done yet in this game is to actually explore the areas and try to find, like, objects. Maybe there are lots of hidden objects that you need in the game. I don't want to miss anything, so I think I'm going to look closely into this place. Is it just empty? Okay, so my treasure hunt is going really good so far. <laughs> this seems like a typical place with all kinds of stuff. What's this? Is that a Aww. mask? Cute bunny. Cute bunny? This bunny looks like the devil himself. What, what are you talking about? It's fucking hideous. Ah, put it away. Ah, wash your hands after that. Gosh, I don't want to touch objects like that. What else do we got? Is it anything here? No, that's the, that's the mask, isn't it? Yeah. It feels like you can find something valuable in here. A letter. Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Uh-huh. Dear Mr. Olson, this letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of the Ned's Nutty Ned Knacks. What a hard word. Ned's Nutty Ned Knacks. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed and you should receive payment by month's end. My client also wanted to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there is any lesson to be drawn for this, it's that fire, theft and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully moving on from Cedar Hills will give you some distance from the bereave bereavement. Bereavement, I don't, I don't even know what that is. After all this time, it is a great healer and perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another cat. Respectfully, R. Straker adopt another cat so, so so she's she's a true cat lady isn't she <laughs> the store recently passed into the hands of a new owner mm -hmm. i wonder if is this the new owner the weird lady must be we're gonna have a shit chat let's say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there what's the next move we got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. She really wants to complete that movie, doesn't she? It seems so important for her. It's all or nothing. What's this? A little birdie? Just a crow? Surely there's something that can help us amongst all this junk. But not a crow, I guess. By the way, what happens if you give a crow a protein bar? Crow bar. I know. <laughs> I know. You don't have to say it. You don't have to say it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. The humor is on top. On top, my friends. But I want to find something else. I want to find something else. It feels like you can find anything in this store. So many weird objects everywhere. 
examine. Is it is it the TV? We're gonna examine. Oh, you can turn it on. Does it work? Who would want to watch this creep fest? That's just a hallway. I wonder if that's the place where we were with Maddie. Was she called Maddie? Maybe she was. I'm so bad at names. Maybe it's that place, like that, that that mansion or castle or whatever you call it. There's something else there. I can't really reach it from here. Maybe we should go around the shelf. Have a look around. Can we grab it from here? Yes! What's this? Oh! Anything of value? No? Put it back then. <laughs> Didn't help us at all. Oh, gosh. Oh, we got one of those creepy dolls. Isn't it? Imagine cuddling up to that at night. The smiling successor of the Macmillan. The what the? What the? What is this? That doesn't really make it better. I mean, that's hideous. Kill it with fire. Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. I wonder what those are. And what they are good for. Are, are they good for anything? Or what's the connection? What's the connection to those creepy dolls in this game? You're probably going to find out in the end or something. I, I don't really know, but... I don't know if we can find anything else. Did we check this place before? Here is something. I don't know what that is. Is that a so spine? Painful. That's a freaking spine. But they kind of made it. It looks like a weapon. No. No, no, no. I'm not touching that. I don't want to be involved in, in something weird. Criminal shit. No. I won't do it. Where is the creepy lady? Let's see. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. Did we have subtitles before? I... I don't know if he prefers subtitles, but some people do, so... You're in luck. A very fine Go with item it. indeed. Yes. Whoa. Huh? But may I? I insist. Did she just bring us an old shitty camera? <laughs> Is that the solution? It's pretty old. Yes. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you steal take a it? Look? Steal it. Steal it from the old lady. Kidding. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Ah. I mean, the old lady seems really nice. I want to be kind to her, but I don't know. It no, it feels a little high. Oh. Oh. I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Mm -hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but. Perhaps I can sweeten the deal. One of a kind. Handmade. Wow. It's for luck. A piece of shitty mirror. Or what is it? Uh, are we are we gonna accept it? I, I wanna I wanna be polite to her. 
I guess we could use it as a prop. So useless. So yeah. stupid. It's a deal. Oh. Delightful. <laughs> the Hagelin received the pocket mirror. Thank you very much. What are we going to use for that for? Camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. That's you indeed. She was like, yes, I fooled them. The money is mine. Stupid teens. <laughs> There's something odd about her. Something odd. Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Are you hiding money from them? You... B -b 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 bitch. Sorry. Okay, objective. Buy milk. First, I'm going to try to search through the environment as much as I can. Because I, I don't want to miss anything. Cursed I really don't movies? want to miss anything. Really? Must be a slow news day. Cursed movies. Most associated with the production have distanced themselves from the rumors about around Dean's disappearance. The most persistent of which is that in the surviving footage of any scene involving Dean, one never fails to observe a strange rolling fog in the d desert background. Desert background. Desert is something else. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Perhaps there really was something lurking in the desert, waiting for its moment to come forth and claim the film stars for its own twisted machinations. Machinations. What is machinations? Best left buried. The dark mythology, mythology of the lost movie. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, I let you read that by yourself because I don't know if that's any value for me. There is a long line lineage of lost movies resulting in dark myths and blah 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 disappearance. Okay. Cool. Cool. Anything here? There's that movie, Andy Dean. Caged Lips. He's like a true movie star, isn't he? Alright, so... Are we just going straight to the milk, or... What's that? What is that? Waterlogged shoe? Okay, okay. So I kept the object. These dolls are hideous. But I mean... I don't really know if I kept that object. Did we pick it up or? Never mind. Let's keep on walking, will we? We got some milk here. Grab that milk. You can do it. Inspect. Oh! Another missing kid. I hope they're found. Benny Baker. He was missing 24th of April 1980 from Garfield. So this is... Yeah, this... Or is this now? I can't really remember if the, the year is 1980 right now or if it's what's... 81 yeah I, I wonder if he's found not really sure but I don't think there's so much else to inspect here so let's ring the bell ring the bell uh, oh, oh. 
Hey, Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. Because I'm a stalker. Spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes. So, so get the hell out of here, bitch. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Ring me up. Shush, shush. All right. That'll be 25 cents. Okay. Straight from the sock. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. You sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. Mmm. They no are kidding. making a horror movie. You could always movie. use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... <sighs> Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Oh, that's uh, yeah, Dan's son. We had son. a little run-in with him today, but we're going to sneak back in to shoot the rest. <sighs> Man. Oh, really? I would love to be involved. Involved in what? But? Hey, Dad. There yeah, he is. Uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies. At the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Stan is not happy with it. He's keeping an eye on us. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Uh, we're still gonna finish our movie. No, I'm, I'm gonna be provocative. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. You spend enough time in my line of work? You realize every place has got its demons. Yeah, like your, like your underwear. Ready? Got him. Take care. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a move. The N word? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I, I need to, I need to stay proper now. Sorry. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. Is that Augustine? A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? That was Augustine. We are so screwed right now. <gasps> okay. Okay. 
Back to Maddie. Bad dream. Bad dream? Ugh. How long was I out? I I don't even remember falling asleep. They drugged 15, you. 15, 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Maybe. Yeah, I'm used to it. Wait. What happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand. Oh. What are you. Oh. Feet okay. is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before. Huh. It's not my film. I, I didn't. I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep course sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> Let's look around. Come on. We need to have a look at the place, obviously. What are you waiting for? Mm, getting positive <laughs> now, are we? Oh, now this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? <laughs> New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't wow. scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Um, suspicious. Let's go with that. Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. It's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Cut the shit. Okay. <laughs> you want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, but in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. Well, that's why I had to find out for myself. It took me a couple years, but when the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I, 
I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh, just catching up. Where did so, you go, Madison? what have Madison? you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Yeah, boy, explore the atrium. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. Can't deny and this place would guy. make an incredible film location. Guy, so I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right. Oh, he's just guy. bragging right now. Got me the blazer, which is like a I wonder who this is. VIP is it Frank Stone edition. himself? <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. Found the turtleneck in a second-hand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> Don't tell Come me. Come on, wife. Oh, you can be sure There, we that. got something. Huh. Oh! What well, happened now? that was now? a curious sound. What happened now? Was it something over here? No, wait, here. This way. We got something here. Secret path. I love those. And... Bull! We got some surveillance system here. Holy shit. Look at this. Well, hello. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's this? What is this? Augustine has interest in temporal machinery was that the machinery that we faced when Stan was uh, fighting Frank Stone was it that kind of machinery or kind of looked like it what else do we got in here do we got anything else? nothing there should we talk should we have a shit chat? Isn't there anything else we can do in here? How about this? No? Nothing here. Nothing there. And nothing else we can see. There's no signal on one of the cameras. But we can't do anything about it. Let's just keep on walking then. And he was not even interested in the surveillance system. That's weird. Oh, what's this? A little tree? Cool. That's cute. But nothing we can do? No. can find many weird objects around here <laughs> many weird objects what are you looking at Maddie did you get all stuck in your own thoughts let's go up uh, here yes let's check out the other floors good thinking wait H hold on a second what before all this goes any further I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film um well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago whole other lifetime 
Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Jaime. Uncle Jaime. I, um, I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Very touching. You don't mean it. Okay, let's see. Comforting. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Probing. What about you, Stan? What about you, Stan? I don't trust that guy. So let's... And what about you, Stan? Put him against the wall. Where'd you get your piece of the film? Well, now... That is a very good question. Mm. And an expensive one, too. Mm. But you know what? Since I am such a big fan of your work... I'll give you a little taste, free of charge. I can't tell you who I got it from or why they had it. I will tell you that I acquired it from them completely by the book in a very honorable game of chance. You won it? Fair and square. Who the fuck would be gambling with it? They have no right. Ah. <laughs> well, it seems like you're more attached to this little project than what you've been letting on. You don't just gamble away something like that. Yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Just won it? I mean... Why? Come back here! I don't trust you. What if we could make him slip and fall? Do a face plant on the floor. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. A typical chainsaw murder. That's that's not that's not so cool, to be honest. I I, I hope we don't have to meet him. Wow, powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. Yeah, they do seem pretty stiff. I must say. What can we do with wow. this? Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. But uh, is it an elevator? Can't we do anything with it? Come on. Touch it. Mess with it. We're going to talk to Maddie. Maddie! Got something to tell you. Yeah? Now what would you do if it was you here instead of me? I would jump sure straight out the window. Out of this place? And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up it never Poor gets thing. easier when you lose someone but it does become less suffocating i hope so because sometimes i just feel like i'm going crazy like she really is out there guiding me trying to tell me something that's why i came here it felt like that's what she wanted me to do I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? I don't know which one to proceed with, but there's something I never told to anyone else. That seems a lot funnier to go on with, so let's pick that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. 
Jaime, Chris, and me. All of them are movie makers. What's the deal with that? Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Oh, do we have a flashback now? That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. That's her mom? Is that Bunny? Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! Uh, okay, what, what should we go on with? They might be after the film strips. If this plot gets any thicker. I don't know which one to go on with. Let's be let's be concerned. Because I if someone else did find out right this now. deal is going down, they might be after the film strips. A healthy competition does make for better offers. My guess is that if they're all dressed in black and prowling around the place like a thief, they're not here to make an offer. Maybe they just want to make a dramatic entrance. Should we tell Augustine they might be dangerous? Even if you wanted to tell her. Good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be. Whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Uh oh. Chapter five. What's taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. The van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. You're trying to control her. Just tell us how it is. Tell us the truth. Okay, excited. Hey, right at time. <laughs> time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie's snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Chill. Did you know you can get Chill. like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No, tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. I can't take all the credit. I had a little help from my uh, assistant. <sighs> it was nothing. Hey, modesty free zone. I think I would have given up about eight dozen times if this guy hadn't been there to cheer me on. 
Just doing my job. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. I feel insecure wow. about Chris and Robert. This is, <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Uh, uh, uneasy. Let's go with uneasy. Stone's victims were real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's no, not a you problem. are a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. If I'm going to sneak you back in there, you better make it good. He gets it. Says the man who goes behind the back on his own father. Jesus Christ. Is it really worth it? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm going to... I, I want to go with the flow because I really want them to head to the place, try to making the movie and complete everything. So you're right. Approve it. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Let's do it. We've only got one shot at this. Yeah. So let's not fuck it up. <laughs> I'll do my best. Can we help? No, Robert and I will go through and see if there's any other good places in the mill to shoot. Then we'll head out. Okie dokie. So look around the garage, then talk to Linda. We're gonna find some valuable information, maybe. Murder Mill. What do we got here? No more edits. Let's go film. Here, why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely What's possible. This? We'll find it. Pick up this one. Our list sure can't get enough Frank Stone. Secrets of Killer Stone come to light. Here, look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murders started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12 hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank. I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or. or why he did what he did or I'm sure no something. one was sad to see it go That's your expert opinion it's just a hunch i can't really read when you're talking like that behind my back so anyhow end of an era set our steel mill to permanently I pulled close some of these today too. oh jesus are you kidding me okay you get to read this yourselves and a little before oh good thinking because apparently I wonder if Linda's they okay talk with too much. Frank Stone stuff. Bastards. Okay, we got a tape here. Oh, and a little bit of a glitch. T 
Tom Holt interview. An interview? Nothing you want to listen to? Item added. Let's let's keep that one. That's a good keeper. Uh, okay, we got anything else of value here. What is this? Oracle of the Omniverse. Do you feel trapped? Are you living your life or merely surviving it? Does this universe satisfy you or are you left seeking a deeper truth beyond this reality? By harnessing the deep knowledge within this book, gleaned by Guru Barnham from his studies of those tribes closest to enlightenment, you too can assimilate the wisdom of the science design and emerge from the cocoon of ignorance to soar on wings of cosmic bliss like a butterfly of enlightenment. Okay, this... Okay. Not really my cup of tea, but... Um, probably good for people who are into those things. Okay, so here's a lot of text. I was through my own practices learned from my journeys through the American interior that I successfully elevated my consciousness to the point I was able to visualize another set of hills, one beyond the veil of our reality. This little town seemed so very much like my own, yet so fascinatingly different in countless subtle ways. To give one example, the Calhern family still owned the drugstore, but the manager behind the counter was none other than young George, the son who died so tragically some years ago. Here he was, in healthy middle age, a season of life I knew he had never reached. Does this even belong to this book? I think no. Okay, turn page. An omniverse? Far out. Yeah, an omniverse. So I drew two conclusions from my meditative voyage. One, that every journey through life offers almost incalculable variation. And while we may each have only finite possibilities on our own journeys, there may, may be other journeys taken by mirror versions of other selves that visit all destinations. Two, the different planes of reality are not so much separate rivers running in parallel as they are in connected tri tributaries. <laughs> I barely know what these words mean. Okay tributaries flowing to a single vast ocean of experience and possibility to explore this idea further we must consider some consider some okay so that's pretty much it from the omniverse interesting stuff book claiming there are multiple versions of people and objects across different reali realities blah 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 can we use this one can we listen to the tape now Use item. Cool. Let's do it. Let's give it no, a go. I don't. I don't want to talk about it. Well, of course I was there. I'm the watcherman. I'm the what? Is he drunk? Yeah, I'm a good boy, Merlin. This is your boy. Mm. We're just minding our. Doing our it's the drunky from the steel Frank factory. Stone was there all along now, wasn't he? <laughs> and we tried to find him, but that baby. Yeah, that little crying little baby. Like I told the sheriff, that's right. The sheriff and me. We're heroes. Huh? Don't you know that? Don't you know anything about that? Like, Get out of here! Get, get out! Come on! Relax, dude. Okay. Poor old Mr. Hall. My dad told me he helped him stop Frank Stone, but he was such a drunk, he couldn't get his story straight. And old Sheriff Kusick swooped in and took all the credit. Damn. Yeah, bastard. Hall disappeared a few months later. Probably passed out in the riverbed and got washed out to sea. Probably yes. Probably.
Probably yes. We got a box here. Open it up. Oh, there's a little object. Is that the shoe that we found in the store when buying the milk? Yeah, it is. It is. So we can collect objects in these boxes. I don't know what that does, but I guess it's something valuable that can affect the story in the game. So now we need to talk to Linda. Is this Linda? <laughs> I've already forgot about. Already forgot about that. Are you Linda? Yes, you must be Linda. Let's have a chit chat. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Her obsession with Frank Stone is intense. It is! Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. So, so screw them. Matters either. I didn't say it didn't matter. Kidding. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film, like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. Uh, let's be encouraging for this. I want to push it forward. It's pretty rad. Hope we have time to shoot it. It's very supportive of you. Thanks, Robert. Let's do it. Hi, mate. Let's do Sorry. it. Forgot which one of you is the supportive one. That was mean. You're mean. Yes. Yes, I am. You're a mean girl. Oh, yes. Mean, huh? mean, mean. What is? It's a picture of Frank Stone. Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there, shop. that's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. <laughs> shoot go, the shit go. out of this thing. Let's make a move. Let's do it. Let's do it! Who's shooting what now? Oh, Bonnie is coming. Bonnie, uh, don't you say one more sneaky little word. But, uh, just tell me what you're shooting. We're not. I'm pretty sure I just heard your girlfriend say you were. No, 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 we're going to see a movie. Mm-hmm. We are. This true? Yeah. Okay, cool. What movie? Can I come? It's, it's, a, it's, um... Curse of the Midnight Sun. Uh, so it's about a sun at midnight? Yeah, I don't know if you'd like it. Sounds kind of dumb, but I guess if you guys are going... It's sort of a double date. Chris and I and... Robert and I are lovers. Well... I guess we better be off then, or else we'll miss our movie. Come on, guys. Let's make sure we leave enough time to get popcorn. I like mine with butter. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the movie. Thanks. <laughs> I like mine you, once with butter. Hi. So stiff. Oh, what happened there? Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Have a look, will you? Bonnie? Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mail. 
Yep. There it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, it takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. All right. This way. Okay, things are getting really exciting in this game right now, but we need to wrap it up for today and continue in my part 3 of this game. So I hope you want to stick around with me and come back for the third part. Thanks so much for watching this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I truly hope I see you in the next one, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Like that, don't you?